Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be revisiting Black Desert Online. As some of you may know, I played this game quite a bit a few years back, sinking in a few hundred hours, managing to get pretty much nowhere, but still enjoying myself along the way. Well, Pearl Abyss reached out and they wanted to sponsor today's video. Uh, they basically asked me to jump back in and just check out their most recent updates. So I'm gonna be playing on the latest summer season servers. These are basically seasonal servers that provide fresh starts for any new or returning players and they give you perks like faster leveling and progression as well as season specific gear. I'm also going to be trying out their newest pirate themed Corsair class. She uses ocean powers. She can summon dolphins, whales, giant waves and stuff like that. Plus she's got this fancy hat. I really like these hats. And there's a few deals and discounts for the game right now on both their official website. So let's go ahead and hop back in and check out some of the new Black Desert Online stuff. And of course, if you like what you see here as as always, go ahead and check out that link in the video description below. All right, it's been a little while since the last time I played, but we're gonna be checking out BDO. We're gonna be looking at the brand new class, the Corsair. She's uh, a pirate mermaid lady. And we're gonna be checking out a season server as well. It's accelerated leveling and progression and stuff and like faster XP and you know, you know seasons. You've played games with seasons before. It's got season stuff. You do the season, you get some rewards. The season ends, you keep your character. You know how it works. Okay, let's check out the Corsair. I want to see what's up. First, I got to go through the tutorial stuff. You know, one thing you can't take away from BDO, uh, the game looks so good. I love why my pets are with me. I totally forgot that I had these guys. There's Taffy, there's Maki, and I think I have a, a bird as well. All right, so I'm supposed to kill gray foxes. Let's see what our moves are. We got our little guide there. W and E is the sea stroll. I'm sorry. I told you I was part Mermaid, did you see that? Oh man, this is like fluid, huh? Look at, what did I tell you? The season server, I killed two enemies and I'm level three already. <laughs> now I'm level four. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What is happening? All right, let me get to level seven then real quick so I can do the UI edit. I think this is actually gonna work that. I think it's gonna be that easy. Just a few more and then I'm good. Well, certainly. Look at the water. Look, look at these water animations, dude. Those are pretty slick. All right, I'm sorry to the local fox population, but oh, let me do my sea strolls. W and E. Look at this. I literally turn into like a dolphin and I splash up with my mermaid hair. And let me just, I'm just smashing buttons now. I don't even know what anything does. It all looks good though, yeah? I know there's usually a, um, there's usually, yes. Oh my, look at that. So there's usually an evasion mode for everybody. And mine's a little, um, this little water slide. Very nice, dude. Looks so good. Anywho, uh, back to dolphin land. Here we go. Just <laughs> oh, I think I do a little burst of damage there then. I'm gonna have to, at some point, I'm gonna have to read what my abilities do. Just beat everybody up. Oh, that thing's got such a nice, hey, there it is, right? I hit level seven. Oh, it automatically did it. That's hilarious. So I had like, uh, I had a default UI setting, which was basically just like minimalism UI. I wanted to get rid of a lot of the side stuff. And as soon as I hit level seven, it just automatically populated. Okay, that's cool. Let's go turn in the quest, shall we? Ah, uh, the black spirit, I remember this guy. He starts off with this little cute, um, like almost cute dark dot with red eyes. I mean, I guess it's kind of creepy, but eventually he gets so creepy looking. <laughs> They stretch them out and I'm like, oh man, what's wrong with you? All right, so let's try to learn our abilities here. So we've got our little combat guide still up there. So it's tab to switch to combat mode and then tab to drop out of it, I guess. Yeah, there we go. And does switching to combat mode actually hit something? It literally does, okay. It's not just the animation of pulling out your sword. You're actually pulling out your sword and doing an uppercut. That's pretty funny. Okay, so first ability, storm surge, W and right click. It's that forward thing. It looks like it's got a 10 second cooldown to it. So if I W and right click again, it's not doing the same thing. But once that cooldown is up, we do it again. And that's a nice little move. Um, another ability is, I know the sea stroll. This thing is pretty sick. And I, I, I shoot out. Okay, I was just kidding before when I said I turned into a dolphin. There's actually a dolphin at the end of it. At the very end, you, uh, you shoot out a dolphin. Uh, I'm gonna have to all right Q is it overflow. Is it just an AoE or does that a, a buff or something? Well, it definitely is AoE. It's got a little cooldown. All right, and then my last one here is W and F whirl whirlpool 
And that's a little spinny. So all of those do have cooldowns. All right, wait a second. I gotta, I gotta see this dolphin thing again. Ready? I'm an, I am a dolphin, and then I turn to a mermaid who throws a dolphin. <laughs> when they make new characters and classes or whatever in BDO, they sure go over the top. The last one I remember playing was the Guardian, and she was just like this Norse goddess, just smashing people with a giant axe. It was hilarious. Oh my god, dude, it's just so slick. I don't know what else to say, it's so slick. Everything looks so smooth, you know? Because I got like my mana bar down there, so what's my build? Usually it's just like left click, yeah, left click builds. And then you just kind of do whatever in between. Oh, I remember this part, look at this. I get, <laughs> I get a speed boost and then while sprinting with the speed boost, it looks like like, I promise you the video is not on fast forward right here. This is just literally how fast you move. It looks so funny. Let me get my stamina back up and do this again. Ready? Look at me go. <laughs> All right, gray foxes. Meet dolphin lady. Yeah, exactly. I know at some point you probably want to, like, read what your skills do or whatever, but I'm kind of also fine with just smashing buttons and letting everything happen. Everything dies so quickly. I feel like you probably only really need to know what key binds you're hitting when uh, you get to like the serious stuff, right? Which I'm not gonna be getting to anytime soon. Takes a while. The auto pathing is nice for when you wanna just like AFK or whatever, but it's always, it always takes longer. So it, you, ha you have to just do it if you wanna like, hey, I'm gonna go grab a glass of water or something, you know? So one thing I've always liked about BDO is you can go anywhere. You know those MMOs that restrict you from like moving places? They're like, oh, there's an invisible wall there. No, not BDO. Like most things, if you see it, you can you can climb it if you can reach it. Like what about this ladder? Ready? Look at that. Nope, no, not the guy, the ladder. I can climb it. Anything that's like within reach while you're jumping, you can also usually mantle up to as well. I have always really liked exploring in this game. That's one of the things. The combat and the exploration, I always thought was super cool about BDL. It's one of the things, that every time I come back to the game, I appreciate the combat and the exploration. The exploration largely fueled just by, again, the ability, that just the ability to, like, you know what? I bet you I can get on that tent. You know how many games don't let you go on tents and stuff? You know what I mean? Roofs? Look at it, here I am. What now? Okay, let me show everyone in town. Have you guys seen Dolphin Lady yet? She's brand, she's brand new, so. Look at this, everybody, look. See, guards, watch. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? It's not a pretty sight. Oh my, wow. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'm sure if I was more, you know, I think actually, I think actually the truth is in this game, you can just like not bother doing these quests, these tutorial quests, but every time I come back, I feel like I need the refresher, so. That's why I'm, that's just why I'm doing this. Because I always feel lost every time I come back to pretty much any MMO. But yeah, BDO too. It is crazy as well with this seasonal stuff. Like I'm level 14 already. Just how quickly you progress here. I've only been playing for like 30 minutes. Alright, here we go. This is the kind of quest I'm talking about. Fight 50. None of these like fight 10. Fight 50. This is how you BDO. You understand? This is what BDO is. Not not like fight four. Shift E, whale song. Wait, do I not know that one? What? What just happened? <laughs> Did anybody else see that? Um, I'm sorry. Can I see that ability again? Shift E. Right, that's a whale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins and whales. Okay, let me read that skill. Just, just shifty and do summon a whale. Of course. What are you so confused by, Dennis? You just walk up to these imps, and then you um summon a whale. Okay, they want me to summon big guy. Let's do it. Hello. We are to fight. Have you seen the whale? I'll show you a couple of things. There's the whale. There's uh my big cut here. There we go. 
I also got, I can drop a bomb on the ground and far away. There we go. See you later, bro. Oh, there's another one? I'll help him. Let me show, I'll show them the whale too. It's like Dennis, nobody cares. <laughs> Shut up, everyone's. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. There's like seven of them summoned right there. He's like, we finally defeated him. It's like, no, he's right there. <laughs> I do really like how lively the town is in this game. Like this early starter zone. i oh, seeing all these people walking around. Although I could do without the massive nameplates above everybody's heads. It's kind of killing my immersion. Can we get rid of that? Like, we gotta. Look at that, just like that. Just like that one setting. Look at how much more immersed I am. Maybe I could do some names though, so I can really distinguish the players. Hold up. I'm opting for immersion over recognizing people's names. I don't care if I know that they're a person or not. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this is my MMO, I'll play it the way I want. I get to pick what quest I want to do. It doesn't matter which quest I pick, the rewards are the same. Um, let me, uh, about the goblins. Let's figure out about the goblins, learn about the goblins. That's neat, let's just choose your own adventure. And I like that they tell you up front that it doesn't matter what you pick, the quest is, uh, quest rewards are gonna be the same. I appreciate that. Excuse me. Thought we've been over this. Oh, look at you. Goblin elite soldier, huh? Whale. Shift right mouse button, ocean's pearl. Oh. Nice. Okay. So it's kind of like the one that I drop on the ground, but this one I hit like a baseball bat. All right, you ready? Skullhead, dude. I'm gonna show you my moves, okay? I just learned a new one, baseball bat. And then I'll drop this one. Then I'll do this move, boom, boom. And then whales. And then um, um, dolphins. Is he sitting down? What are you doing? You're taking a break? We're, we're in Mortal Kombat here. Why are you insulting me like that? There you go. That's what you get. Not respecting my power. Sitting on your butt in the middle of a fight. <gasps> a black soul stone. I remember these. This is the whole thing where you upgrade your stuff and sometimes it fails. All right, I just gotta take stuff from these soldiers. That's basically the plan. Oh, I'm supposed to go up into the castle and that's not where I'm going. Okay. Do 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 do. Like a whale to ruin your time up in a tower. <laughs> I should probably spend some points too. I got a lot of skill points here. Okay, let me drop down here real quick and do that for a second. Let us see. A bunch of skill points. How many of these can I get? Oh, that's a, just an overall pump, right? Oh, emergency escape V. I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, I got a few other skills access to. Forward and F, whirlpool. Okay. And then forward and right, storming surge. I thought I have this ability. I feel like I'm going crazy. I, I've been doing that ability, but okay. I think I'll do some exploring of this castle now. Again, this is one of those things that I think is so cool about BDO is that you really can just walk around everywhere and listen to this cranking music. And this, <laughs> apparently, literally anything, literally anything that you think you can mantle on, you can. I wish, I wish this was in every MMO, frankly. Like, I think I can even do this. Oh, I can! <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? It's so, that kind of, this kind of thing is so nice. The freedom that it gives you. Really, that should be in every MMO. Ooh, a new piece of armor. <gasps> yeah, look at it. Got myself a new, uh, new coat here, a new leather coat. Oh, look at the season stuff. Oh, darn. I got all these goodies. Got an adventurer's box. You got a buff and stuff. You got these. You got some juice. As you eat these things or whatever. Open this. Look at this map, by the way. There's like all these, these like sea bosses under here. And all this. Where? How far does it go? Wow. I like what? Anything over here? Is that a storm in the middle of the ocean? Probably. It kind of does that. But then, like, I've just been exploring right around here so far. From what I remember, the game was pretty big when I played it last. And um, I believe it's only gotten bigger because they've added new zones and everything. So there's also, like, the whole node system and, like, 
transferring goods between it's so much it's so much to remember i don't <laughs> there's so much in this game i don't i don't even remember everything so many systems like i know that there's a big part of this game that's all about like um you can do a focus on like farming and crafting managing your daily resources and using like multiple characters to produce things and you like trade you send out caravans between different cities and they're like literal caravans like you can see them in the world like you could walk with them and defend them against bandits and stuff i've said before and i'll say it again my absolute favorite way to play bdo almost like just play it as a single player rpg i still love mmos because i like to be able to group up with my friends if they're playing and I like to have other people around while I'm doing stuff. But I kind of just also like just like doing my own thing in this big world. It really is. I've always liked that about BDO. I don't focus on the competition. I don't focus on the, on the end game PvP, hyper competitive, trying to max out my gear. I like jumping into this game and just doing stuff, doing the combat, seeing new areas. Maybe getting some gear and doing some crap. Like I, I know I used to do a lot of cooking because the food buffs are pretty important. But I'm not. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother with the node managements in this revisit. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna explore and fight. That's literally it. I'll get gear, explore, and fight. I do think I have a house though. Maybe I could. Is it still here? There it is. Here it is. Let me show you. So this is my little home. You really like cooking, don't you? Yeah. Well, like I said, I rem I I do remember at least that. There was this whole big thing where I have my workers and my workers are in different areas and I like I send them out to get like grapes and barley and stuff and then they bring them back to town and then I then I like take them with me. There we go. Take a nap. It's supposed to give me a buff. I have to sit here and just actually let her nap and at some point I'll get a buff for it. Do the quest. Fight things. This is the best part of BDO is fighting things. Go do it. Oh man, you can really, th that's the other cool thing that's starting to come back too, is that you can really, um, chain things together once you know the different combos. Like there's something I could do the slide and then I can go forward like that. And then if I do, I think I followed up with a left click attack or something, go like that. I don't know. It's cool. Here I am again. You want me to just fight these guys right here? These guys, these idiots, these are the guys you need me to fight. This is some kind of a joke. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to repair. This is what happens when you're just like, uh, <laughs> I need to punch everything. <laughs> this is what happens when you walk around thinking you're just supposed to punch things. I'm, I'm supposed to rip. I'm, I'm trying to help. That's right. Smash that giant wood pole with your little dinky hammer there. That totally did anything. So this is why this is, these are one of these moments where this is nice. I'm just sitting here. I sit my coffee and let my character auto run. I don't have to worry about adjusting it. To make sure it doesn't walk into walls, I can do nothing. Although, this one is pretty easy, but... You know. It's got its benefits, I'd say. No, oh, there's some milk tea. So what was so good about milk tea? Why did I always want it? Probably because of that combat experience buff. Let me take some out then. This one doesn't have a combo, this jet stream ability. So I should put it on... That's my whale. That's my thing. And this one's down E. Whoa! Like, where did I... How did I not know about these? I gotta pay attention when I level up. I got all these other cool abilities. I got so many of these. It's so dope. Down in E is a new one. Where I summon two dolphins. <laughs> I just love them. I love them. I got the dolphins and the whales and the sea urgents. Usually everything, uh, most things can be like comboed. I guess there are some things that can't, but it's like you hit multiple inputs and... So my C stroll, my forward E, and then my back E. Right, I already know about those though. Forward E is that one. Yeah, that's my dolphin. Back E is my other dolphin, but it's like go underground and just bring them forward. So it's just my, that was just my new number one ability that um, doesn't have a combo keybind. Yeah, frankly, I think this is the best way to play BDO. God, it's badly. <laughs> And I'm not just saying this, I'm, I'm not just trying to say this as justification for myself. No, no, I'm, I'm being serious. I think the best way to play, play BDO is just to play it badly. I think if you take this game too serious, it could get a little stressful. But if you just like chill and just like kind of do whatever, go beat up some guys and check out the world and stuff, 
This is how I. This is how I've always d dug this thing. And you know how in a lot of MMOs you'll like you'll be standing next to something like this, and you're just jumping and jumping and jumping, and you just keep jumping next to it. But like, oh, sorry, you can't reach it. This game's just like, no, dude, I'll auto pull you up. Go where you want. We built this geometry. You can climb it, no problem. I think that that's that is that's the answer. That is why I'm so obsessed with it because so many games, so many other MMOs completely screw you in the exploration. Just like they don't let you go anywhere. What, is, what are you doing? Cut it out. Back to the title surge. Pop it up, and you're dead. I gotta I, I gotta go back to my. This thing was my favorite for so long, and I haven't been using whale recently. I gotta go go back to using whale. I guess so. I get an A rank in these imps, and I'm, that's also reminding me that the game has the system where. Basically, the higher knowledge, like, ranking you have when you, uh, are farming things, the better chance, like, you can get for loot drops from them. So you can use that as a way to kind of farm certain gear and stuff that you're looking for or whatever. It's pretty interesting. So that pretty much does it for my little play session with Black Desert Online. Coming back, checking out the season servers and playing the Corsair. Uh, like I said in those highlights, it's it's always fun coming back to BDO just to see the new stuff and especially try the new classes. They like add new classes all the time. I feel like it's multiple times a year I'm hearing like there's a new BDO class. The Corsair is cool. I like summoning up all these different things of like dolphins and whales and ocean splashy things and then also just uh, checking out the season server thing. This was my first time. I have haven't done season servers before in BDO. The level acceleration was hilarious, How just how quickly you were leveling up uh, all around. I had a good time. I always do. Uh, coming back to any of these MMOs, I had a good time revisiting it. So uh, as always, if you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, go ahead and check out that link below if you want to support the channel. Thanks again, of course, to Pearl Abyss for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Couldn't do it without you. So appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging out and watching my videos. All right, take it easy. I'll see you guys later.